not seven yet, is it? Oh. Uh, yep. yep, that oh, is. is. Okay. Media yes. will come to water. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming. This is a meeting of the Lakeville Conservation Commission. Uh, I'm Chairman Bob Bouchard, and I'll ask the members to identify themselves. Uh, Joshua Faraday. John LeBlanc. Joseph Chamberlain. Nancy Yates. Okay, good. Thank you. And we're being it, recorded it, on Lake Camp. Thank you. Welcome. All right, so starting off, first is uh, 12 Fuller Sto Shores Road. This is a notice of intent and represented by Zenith, I believe. Now, before we start, I'd like to note that, uh, oh, you do have them here, because I heard from Laurie Kennedy and she said they were all done. So everyone's been notified. So I think, yeah, yep. I thought you, I thought you had left them at the office. I wouldn't have been able to come up from Wham to get here. And they were closed by the time I got up here. Okay, so we're all set here. Yes, sir. Can I just ask the date that it went to Natural Heritage? It just says eight twenty twenty one. Oh, that's the that's the date of the maps. Uh, it went the date that we issued the that we submitted the NOI, which would have been probably about a, three weeks ago or so. Oops, hold on. September 27th. Yes. So we wouldn't be able to do an order of conditions until October 27th. Just 30 days, right? So this is, and we can get into that, but. Okay. This, and I think I have an exemption in there. There's an exemption letter in there uh, because it's a septic repair within an existing landscape area. Yep. Um, it's, an it's an exempt act. Right, but it still needs to go to natural area. It did. Okay. And it did. Right. Uh, it definitely did, yes. Uh, for the record, now data from Zenith. Uh, so we have before you for our septic repair um, off of Long, off of Polar Shores Road. Um, it obviously butts Long Pond, uh, which is a surface water supply. Um, so currently, it's an existing uh, two-bedroom dwelling, and um, you can see the, the buffer zones are depicted on the plan. You've got the 25-foot buffer here, 50-foot uh, buffer here, and the 100. Here. So you can see pretty much the whole entire property except for a small portion on parallel to Fuller Shores Road is within the buffer zone. Um, fortunately, we were able to get the leaching field itself outside the 100 foot buffer. We were able to get that 100 feet away. Um, we're utilizing what's called a bottomless sand filter. Uh, we've been in front of the commission in the past on sites like this, actually, usually even tighter sites. Um, this is a really good system for these types of sites on the water supply. It has an advanced treatment uh, aspect to it, uh, which is the Narenko system. Um, Board of Health really likes it. it what, but what it does is it allows, obviously, a much cleaner effluent for the septic, uh, but it also allows a much smaller footprint. Um, so it uh, decreases your footprint. It decreases your setbacks to the, or increases your setbacks to the um, the water supply as well as to property lines and to private wells. Um, the only work that we're actually proposing within the actual buffer zone is the installation of the tank um, with the Advantex advanced treatment unit as well as the pump chamber um, and the decommissioning of the existing septic system, which is all in that same vicinity. Um, we are proposing, excuse me, proposing a dewatering basin in the front of the home here, um, and we are proposing erosion control in the rear here, and to come up the south side of the north side of the property here um, to ensure that we don't have any carryover. Um, obviously, all the work will be once completed will be inspected, uh, loaned and seeded, um, and stabilized for uh, you know uh, in, you know future use. Um, what else, what else, what else? That's uh, basically we're in an area where we have to be uh, due to the private wells either abutting or on the property as well as the setback to Long Pond. So there's really not a lot of room here um, to get it, but we luckily were, we've been much closer than this to the water supply in the past. And in this situation, we were able to get 100 feet, which I think is a, obviously a bonus. So um, I'm happy to answer, answer any questions that the commission has. Joe, Has the board of health no. signed off on it? No. no. It's been submitted to them. And it's, we're waiting on a hearing okay. um, because we're because we're um, affecting the water supply. Uh, we have to notify them, and they have to have a public. That was the that was generated. 
Um, oh, there's quite a few, a few uh, uh, stumps yeah. on that lot. Uh, <clears throat> you've got there's still a couple of trees that are left. So the the, the um, is, do the stumps present any kind of special problem? No, I mean in this area here, uh, where the leaching field and the tank saw, the leaching field itself will be raised up a couple feet. Mm -hmm. um, we will have to remove a little bit of the tree line here. We're showing that on the plan. Um, that that will be removed. But yeah, no, the actual stumps themselves, um, those are just being claimed to be left alone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bob. Yeah. Good. Um, board of health approval. So yeah, so that we're we, we're waiting on the uh, board of health hearing. Um, we had to notify of butters, um, so we're waiting on that hearing to happen. Uh, I believe it is next week. All right, and I don't see a DEP number yet. No, oh, I did. I did. I did not. No DEP number. I didn't see it. Okay, that's funny. If you did this on the twenty, well, let's see really. if I could find it online. But they've been slow lately. <clears throat> Just be put pending. I'll look real quick just to be safe. If you don't mind. Okay. I did know that she sent it to New Bedford, but it wasn't on the list. It was on the list, but it's now. Okay. on here. What is it? Uh, it is 192-0881. Yeah. Let's see if there's any comment. Um, there's no technical comments. That's good. Okay. <clears throat> uh, there are no related. So that's the file number and then no technical comments. Okay. We have any other comments, questions? Yeah, we have to get a photo of you. Do we go to Three Main Street or Rockdale Avenue now? Oh, yeah, I know. That's uh, so. Uh, engineering's one place, surveying's the other. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully, sooner than later, we'll combine, but yeah. now that's kind of where we have to be. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Uh, I make a motion that we close the hearing and issue an order of conditions with all our standard ConCon conditions um, pending Board of Health approval and that the order of conditions isn't issued until October 27th because sometimes Natural Heritage will just say put this other condition on just pending if they should say something is all. 100% agree. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Was there any discussion? I nope. guess there were not. I guess there were not. Thank you. All right. But don't go far, right? Yeah. <laughs> Got to change clothes. <laughs> Just so we don't recognize them. Ready to do it again? Oh, I'm ready. Number three, Malbone. This is a certificate of compliance, also by Zena. Uh, so uh, these are typically, I don't really do too much of a presentation here. I think I provided you um, with all the information as far as the form AA, as well as a letter um, and pictures of the site. Um, it appeared to me that everything had been constructed in compliance, the lawn is stabilized. Um, we had done an as built on the property with for the septic system in the home. Um, so it was, it's my opinion that it, it meets the qualifications to be issued a certificate. And uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions. I don't know if anybody from the commission was able to get out there, but um, you know, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. 
Yeah, I've been out there a few times. So I was out there in, in, in the spring along with your consultant uh, and things looked really good back then. And I went just uh, today in the grass, believe it or not, it looks good, it's actually green. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I, I'm satisfied with the progress on on, you know, on both sites, actually. Then I'll make a motion that we issue the order conditions for three Melbourne Street, uh, DEP file SE 192-793. Second. Yeah, uh, one clarification, you want to issue a certificate of compliance? Not an order of conditions. What did I say? Order of There's conditions. There's the order of conditions. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't hear that either. <clears throat> certificate of yeah, compliance. I'm glad you were paying attention. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Thanks for catching that, Josh. No problem. That would have really confused <laughs> Lori when she's trying to, trying to take notes. Yeah. <laughs> My second as amended. Okay. So we have a motion and a, and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And then six equestrian, same deal. Yes, so same, same exact presentation, same thing, went out there, took pictures, uh, did an inspection, everything seemed to be in order, um, did an as built. I provided you with a letter and the form 8A, uh, so I believe that you have everything that you, in your file that you need um, on my end, and be happy to answer any questions that you have. Anyone? No? Again, I was satisfied with progress, so I recommend approval. You looked at the grass. The grass here didn't look quite as good as the other one, but you went and looked at it. Yeah, there wasn't. It's they had a few burn spots, but uh, <laughs> who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> I would yeah, say it was yeah. probably about seventy-five percent antique. It was. Yeah, it's it's not. It's, it's definitely not as good as the other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> I'll make a motion to issue the certificate of compliance for six equestrian way. SE 192-849. Right. Okay. Okay. Motion. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor? Oh, discussion? All of us have discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was ringing my chimes over there. Uh, okay, so we have a motion, a second. No, no discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks, Alice. Have a great night. You too. Thanks. All right, um, there are a couple more things on the agenda, but I'm going to skip over. I would uh, going to suggest that, skip over to Beach Street, right? Yep. All right. Would you like to uh, come sit up front here and uh, identify yourself for the record? Or? We just, we don't even know what's up. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were. We don't know what's up. But where, where and what did you see? It just said uh, on agenda number six. Beach Street no Drive. Beach Street Drive. Yeah. Discussions. They thought we were talking about it and wanted to show up. Okay. Well, <clears throat> you remember our last meeting? Were you at it? I'm not sure. Okay. Um, how about the, the night we, we all went, uh, the commission went and, and we walked the site? No, you were there that night. I was not there that night. No? This theme by now. You're the, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I knew there was a. Yeah, okay, so that was about the, the dirt that was yeah. pushed up. And then John sent you an email that I saw saying that the dirt was removed. Right, uh, yeah, for the, for the benefit of those who might not have seen it, uh, we sent a letter saying we wanted certain things uh, completed. And uh, as we had agreed that that night and the following, following day, um, and John did send a letter saying uh, they had taken care of probably most of the other requirements that were in, in that letter and that he thought that that would be the end. Uh, so there, I think did everybody else have a chance to read the, the both my letter to them and, and the response? At, at this point, the only thing that I see remaining is that little pile that we had, we had seen out there, uh, with some brick and some stone uh, that was probably left over from when they excavated that, that drainage ditch. Uh, I'm inclined to recommend that we leave well enough alone that uh, we take John on his, his word that the work is done. And we, the only condition being that in the future, if there's any going to be any work done on, on any of those roads, uh, Hickory Lane, uh, Beach Tree, Beach Tree, uh, yeah, that you notify us first 
and uh, depending on the scope of the work, you, we would ask you to do a, a, a notice of intent or a, or an RDA, just like we did for the last go around. Uh, but otherwise, you'd be you'd be good to go. Sound fair? Yeah, I I wasn't involved with that, but yeah. I do know yeah what you're saying. Um, I do know what was done, and um, yeah, John John's actually in Irvine tonight, California. Oh. So <laughs> well, right, I just came back from. That's why we <laughs> said we'll, we'll you know we'll come and see what it's about. Do you see any any remaining work that needs to be done that I haven't? Uh... Honestly, I drove by it. Um, um, at point of order, he really should be talking into the to the microscope because we're being on cable yeah, and nobody we don't know, can we hear. Don't know how, we're we're picking here. that up fine, but. Yeah, they're only yeah. here on one side of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. So, and identify yourself for the record. Yeah. So Keith Reisfelder, <laughs> I live at 4 Beach Street Drive. Um, so yes, I understood um, if there's work to be done on the road, <laughs> notify you guys for approval. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think John understood that and Again, the last email he sent to you was that everything was cleared. I drove by it, did see that the dirt mm -hmm. was removed. Mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't know the extent of what needed to be removed. Yeah. So I didn't know if you drove by there and saw. Yeah, I've been by a couple of times just to see if there were any changes. Yeah. And there haven't been. Uh, and like I said, at this point, I think no action is going to be the best alternative. Um, we could probably do more damage trying to. Mm -hmm. uh, do any more work there now but in the future should they decide to i don't know widen the road or do some pruning that's that's i think that's how we started you know vista it's, pruning was vista pruning was the last uh started the last go around uh but uh yeah i, th I think we, we'd be in good shape otherwise and so uh, there's usually a minor problem when snow plowing starts because that's when things kind of you can't help it on such a narrow road right. things get shoved around you know yeah well will you respond with a letter i will send a letter acknowledging receipt of his and uh th let them know that we are satisfied yeah. and give them the, the the caveat that uh if there's any more work planned in the future they have to come and right. get approval from the commission mm -hmm. fair enough totally fair yeah okay Sorry, we missed you last the last couple of times. Well, I, there was nothing on the agenda, yeah. so I, I was here at the last one for. There were multiple things going on. Oh yeah, Beach Street, if you remember. Yeah. So that's why I figured I it didn't say what it, this was in regard to. So yeah. I figured show I was up. A little, little surprised when I saw you come in. I said, "What did we forget?" Uh, yeah, yeah, and I didn't catch it till earlier. I would have called and asked, but yeah. I didn't catch it till late. Right. And you didn't leave a message on my phone. I didn't because you and know I what? got rid of it because I thought it was a junk call. <laughs> yeah, no, which was, I, I said, you know what, at this point I might just shoot up. Yeah. All right, good. So thank you for, for coming in and pass the word along. If anybody else who wants to know what's going on, that's, that's the word. Will do. Okay. Thank you for bumping up the agenda. <laughs> oh, yeah. We want to sit through what we're doing next. <laughs> Appreciate that. All right. Good night. Have a good night. Have a good Thank you. All right. So back to our, our agenda. Submittal requirements. I don't think this is too bad. No, I don't think so either. Can I go? Mrs. Go ahead. Chairman? All right. So here's the deal. We've been talking about this a lot lately. Um, Especially with RDAs. Right. Right. Well, <laughs> the first thing we'll say about the RDAs, if you look on your request for determination under fees, which is on page four, page four, bottom of the page, a notice of application must be placed in a local newspaper and published at least five days prior to the hearing at the applicant's expense. So it's very clearly called out. We've been going back and forth. Is it in the well, in protection, whatever. This is your instructions for doing RDA, yeah. which if you read the whole thing, it's kind of uh, enlightening um, about what we can ask for in an RDA. So it's um, also enlightening in how we get filings from engineers that haven't completed everything here and we're overlooking it. I thought an RDA you didn't need an engineer. We can ask for one if it seems intricate. If that's what it says, if you you don't have to read through this tonight. That's always the question, John. How much work? You know. I mean, if it, how close are you getting to the NOI? Well, that's what I would. 
that would be the determining factor exactly. for me. If you need an engineer, maybe it's time to get an NOI. And each time the engineer or the applicant says those magic words, all I want to do is, <laughs> you know, that's when the alarm bells go off. That means the bulldozer and the backhoe are going to be there the next day. Mm. Right. And um, Bob had passed out this in the buffer zone. I, I have to say above ground pools in the past, and Bob, you and Joe might remember, but I don't know if you guys remember, but in the past, we've, where is that going to get drained? We've had um, some real problems up the hill on uh, Nelson Shores, no, no, yeah, up yeah, the hill there, yeah, when yeah. they drained that pool and all, they killed all the frogs. So I'm just wondering that a lot of these things are up to Bob to make that determination, whether that, because he's our agent yeah. and it's up mm -hmm. to him. But I think I wrote this after taking a lot of classes, yeah. believe me. So as far as our submittal requirements go, I mean, I can see Mark brought up about the four copies of the big um, whatever, yeah. but I think there's not too much else in here unless somebody no, I mean, has a problem. No. There's not anything wrong with this. Yeah. I, I did. My intention was not to find things that were wrong, just to react to if there was a problem, so we'd bring it, you know, bring it to light. Right. But that, like you're saying, most of it is should be left untouched. I don't mind if we want to get rid of the four full size copies. If we we could vote to say two full size two, copies. Two, I think is is good enough. Oh, yeah, because yeah, we one never, for the wreck and yeah. one for us to borrow if we really want to well, look at it. One and a half here at the meeting. So if, if, yeah. if it's difficult to read an 11 by 7. Usually they'll bring one in. Right. But we want to make sure we've looked at it before right. the engineer shows up. I usually bring the full size one in anyway. So we, we'd have it. So let me just back up a little bit to, to the pools. Uh, the what? Uh, above the ground and below ground. Right. Because people, gonna, people can pump out an in-ground mm -hmm. pond. So, so are, we staying, also. are we saying we want to require an NOI for an above-ground pool? Depends on how close they are to the wetland, what well, the size of the so hill you is, still, but that's it's your It's still going to be a judgment. That's, that's just what I wanted to clear up. Yeah. Okay. Remember, you're the one that started asking at the NOI when someone knew how was going in. You were the one that started asking the applicant, where's the pool going? Yeah. <laughs> because now is the time. Yeah. Where's the pool going? Where's the cabana going? And they wrote wrong going. Point. No, where are they going to go? Right, okay. but I would Don't say... Don't box yourself in. <laughs> say air on the side of an NOI, because the last thing you want to do, when I found this when I was the agent, the last thing you want to do is make them do an RDA and they get to the meeting and we say we want an NOI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and like I say, as far as Mark had said about septic systems, I would think most septic systems should what about like like one like take tonight for example the majority of the system is in the buffer zone so to me no question what if it's reversed what if there's just a little corner of leaching field uh that's in the buffer zone do we make them go through a full uh, noi or again you want a judgment call well this this leaching field was in the just was, out. was outside the buffer zone mm -hmm. and he still did it anyway. Still did it, yeah. yeah so, I mean, if you're hiring an, an engineer in anyway, anyway the, right. the pump chamber and the tanks were within the buffer zone. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So just the leaching field that made it out. And again, it's the difference, you know, if it's a new septic system, no question. And the app? And why. But replacement of a failed system, you know, we obviously could do what we have to do to get a working system yeah. there. I'd say 90 something percent of the time, you're probably going to want an NOI. Yeah. That, I think 90% of the time we get an NOI right? Right. for yeah. a separate right. repair. Yeah. Just in the fact that we're notifying Taunton and Bedford of how we're doing a good job trying to upgrade systems that are going into Long Pond. And I did notice that, and I'm going to talk to Norman at uh, the assessor's office because I noticed Taunton is, we're asking for Taunton and Bedford to be what, uh, notified and on the list on some of them that are coming through they're not they they're only gave taught. on the list that i checked off the certified of butters list is the only coming out taunt. Taunt. List should only be came out taunt. Hmm. it should be both now they notified them anyway right so both taunton and well because zenith and knows better right. zenith knows better yeah. so. we're fortunate that mostly we deal with the few local guys and they they know the water supply issues 
And I don't know why for the, when I copied this, I had my little note on there about August 1st and August 18th. I don't know why I did that. I must have been looking at the wrong year because <laughs> I just copied the one that I had. So do we want to change that tonight? Make a motion to two full copies instead of four? Two. I'm, I'm, I'll make that motion. Okay. You have a motion? Do we have a second? I'll second. All right. All those in favor? Uh, uh, discussion. Discussion first. Yeah. Is oh, two okay. going to be enough? We need one for the file, yeah. right? One to bring to a meeting. Typically, you, they're the same. Yeah. But this is a minimum requirement. We can always ask for more. Do you ever use your site plans? You mark them up or anything? I do, yeah. So maybe ask for three. That way you have one you can mark up and destroy after. Why can't we use the one you mark up? Yeah, it's, it's, well, mine usually goes into the file. Yeah, so it's got my comments on it. Oh, you put your comments on the yeah, plan? Which, okay. which is what we want, right? Okay. Yeah. Then, Actually, then I'm fine with good that. if we go back yeah. and look and it's yeah. got all those comments. No, I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. It okay. sounds good to me then. All right. Okay. So stay with two. Two. Okay. Well, we're going go from with four two. to two. Yep. All right. All right. So, motion, we have a second. We did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Discussion. Motion, second. All in favor? Uh, aye. 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 All right. So, two. One, one of the questions I had, I think I mentioned it to you this afternoon, um, on and changes to the, uh, the, re the requirements. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to remember it. I, we did pools. Uh, Vista pu uh, pruning. Oh, Vista pruning, yeah. Okay. Everyone has a, their own opinion of what, of what that includes. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, can, can, we're here and I think DEP is out there and there's no consistency. Oh, so DEP doesn't define Vista pruning? No. And so was, some people take it as clearing the law. And just like <laughs> this, <laughs> the, these folks from, from Beachwood and Clark Shores is probably the worst one yeah. uh, as far as defining. Any any guidance in that respect? Well, you still well, want it to be a judgment? judgment? Is pretty good on that. Like we did the Huckleberry Shores one too. And if there's any question, you should always just ask one of us. Well, that's what I usually do. I'm, so, yeah, right. I'm to just go bringing in us it. If there's any question about how much or how little, actually, did she? Can we pass that out too? Oh yeah. So All why right. is it called Vista pruning? Because it improves your Vista. Yeah, yeah. That's, so you can so have a me, view. That means you can clear everything, so you can see whatever you're trying to look at. All right. But, this you know, is yeah. another thing that I did when I was the agent that kind of got lost, and it kind of got lost in the in the move. And I would like to have some more printed because this is a nice thing to give to people when they're not sure about things. We have a very good Vista pruning regulations in Falmouth. Oh yeah, I can share those with you. Ooh, really? Oh yeah, I'll share them with you. I'll send we'll you take those for free. Sure. Anything we can use as guidance. Uh, like I said, if you talk to DEP, it all depends on who you're talking to and what yeah. their definition is. But we used to pat, leave these outside of the office and pass them around all the time. Yeah, right? we got a little thing hanging and, outside and the office. And it's to show we're friendly. You yeah. can come to see us. You know, we're not the big bad conservation commission. You can come <laughs> and see us. We'll talk you through it. Um, So I'd like to get these printed and, and and have them just available outside, or do we have wherever we have these submittals that we give yeah. out to people? So we did this all the time. I think we, it got lost. I was lucky to find two copies that I can send to the printer to get some more. So you, so, you want to print the same thing? You're not making any changes? I don't think so. No. Okay. Just some helpful hints, especially about the fertilizer, especially since we're going through the weed thing on Long Pond about the fertilizers and stuff. And it also says need more information. Mm -hmm. Call the office, same number. I don't know about the hours. It says the hours, uh, so maybe we should change the hours. Well, those are changeable all the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, Laura, is there, somebody's there just about. Someone's there, nine, oh, yeah. nine to five. Yeah, nine to four. Nine to four, excuse me. So, eight to four. Sorry, so Monday through Friday, nine to four? No, Friday is uh, oh, 12, nine to 12. Nine, yeah. So just change the hours? Just change the hours, yeah. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Barbara Standish did this last time from Standish Printing. Yeah, I think so. Just to make it a little glossier. 
Okay. Make it look slick. Make it look slick. Mm. Anybody have a problem? No, no, no good. All right. All right. It just says pruning thought... and maintaining existing landscaping does not need commission approval. Yeah. Yeah. That's maintaining. But then again, there's pruning and then there's pruning. If it's wide, wide as this room, that's a little well, that's bit the much. problem. There's what always pruning and there's pruning. That's what right. always happens, John, is if they did it every year, there'd never be a problem. Yeah. But they never do it every year. They suddenly realize, boy, has this stuff grown. Yeah. And now you're be now you're in fact, this this past spring and early summer was a perfect example i have never seen stuff grow like this yeah this is astounding but this was probably straight from the regulations about mm -hmm. this and you know what people that are really doing it, like clark shores they know once they start chopping we're going to get the call well so they're going to come to us whereas... since, so they might as well chop as much as you can <laughs> since you brought them brought them up uh, and it's, that's good um remember we had they they came in yep few meetings ago uh, and I've been watching them closely uh, do the work they've done a, a nice job the abutters may not agree right there. but I think they followed the spirit of uh, Vista pruning the, the work they did in clearing the brush and getting rid of all that those vines and whatnot it looks good they're not finished yet they have to put some stone in the bottom of the drainage ditch and uh, they're going to put some wood chips along the, the bank, but uh, making the best of it. Yeah, they, they've got uh, some. Um, <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, it looks good. Right. And, I think uh, the problem down there, especially, is if you don't do it for twenty years. That's <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying. It adds up. All of a sudden, you realize I can't see the water anymore. Well, we can't talk. As if it's grown in on us. The uh, big beach, you yeah. know, where we this again started. All the work that was done beginning of the summer is now grown in. <laughs> it's all green again already. <laughs> so you, you know, it's hard to fault them. I think the well, neighbor says, "Hey, take that." I think they did a good job. So, all right, uh, minutes. Minutes. Oh, moly. I have gone over all three sets. You must have said something on this one because it says revised. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of little minor, you know, spelling and yeah, one clarification. Other than that, can we do all three at once or do we have to do them in, individually? I think we have to do them individually. Independently. Okay. So I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes of the Cons Lakeville Conservation Commission meeting of July 26, 2022, as corrected. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now the Lakewood Conservation Commission minutes for August 3rd in indicated revised. There was a couple of phrasing and we figured it was enough that we, we wanted to you know, note that it had been uh, changed. And I make a motion that we accept the minutes as, as revised. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Make a motion that we approve the Town of Lakewood Conservation Commission minutes of August 9th as presented. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. I think that wraps things up, unless someone else. Has um, can I just ask if we do get a plan in for that Freetown Street? Freetown, yeah. I would like to see it. Sure. Oh, yeah. If they're talking about, I don't even know where that, the rumor, if it's a rumor or the truth or where oh, it came from, because I, I haven't watched plan board meetings, but. The oh, warehouse yeah. on Freetown oh, Street. Yeah, that's for real. You don't mean that big, that huge lot? That's all. That's it's all. It's five hundred acres there between Freetown Street and one forty. Yeah. On County Road, all the way up to Howell, and there's. I thought it was three hundred. Yeah. I thought it was like three sixty or yeah. something like I that. It says it right on the sign. But there's a piece of property adjacent to it. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if it was the same but owner. Up farther towards. Right, right where Fat Cousins is, just. South of just yeah, south, south of the yeah. yep. yep. But yeah. farther up near where you get to Howland Road, I think is additional acreage. Okay. And I don't know how many acres exactly that um, the LeBaron people bought, but it just looking at LeBaron, it kind of, mm. you know, I just would like to know and know if there's times when we go to speak up about it or what. And if it is a warehouse, if they're talking about it going out onto, uh, 
140. Oh. Yeah, well, you wouldn't want it coming out on Freetown Street. Oh, boy, no. What's involved in putting a new ramp on a highway? Yeah, oh. well, that would be on the developer. Yeah, no, I understand. Right. It this... can't be something that happens very easily or very quickly. No. And and there are, you, you can have, I always laugh at the, where the 44 and the 18 exits and ramps on that interchange over there where you yeah. go down the ramp and never even leave the breakdown lane right. to go on to 18. Yeah. You tell people that and, and they don't believe you. Yeah. I said, it, it's, you just, you don't get on the highway. Just, I do it all the time. I do it all the time. Everyone does. In fact, I showed it to a, uh, uh, one of, one of the rideshare people that were bringing me back from the Toyota dealer one time, and they didn't even know you could do that. And the woman said, this is wonderful. They don't have to go through the rotary. <laughs> yes, that's the whole idea. <laughs> that's the whole idea. Well, we just make sure you put a note on this uh, order of conditions. It doesn't go out until October 27th. I think I did. Please. Let me check. Not that natural heritage. Might say anything, but I'm glad you brought your own pen this time. Well, you bought I two did. pens, you're showing off. No, it was a pencil. Oh. What was it again? October, October what? 27th. 27th. We have 30 days. To okay. Are we ready for a motion to adjourn? Yes, we are. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You didn't do any discussion, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not on that one.